Hi there, it's Tim from Oracle Base. What's the game about? In this video, we're going to take a look at the group by clause and the having clause. SQL includes many aggregate functions, which take information from multiple rows and aggregate it down to produce fewer rows in the final result set. This example uses the count, average, and sum aggregate functions. We have 14 rows in the employees table but the query produces a single row with the count of the rows in the table as well as the average and total of the salary column for all rows in the table. Without a group by clause, the whole result set is treated as one single group. Adding the group by clause splits the results into groups of rows with the aggregate functions being applied on a group basis. Here we're grouping on the department ID column so the aggregates are on a per department basis. The more columns you include in the group by clause, the more granular the aggregates. In this example, we've grouped by the department ID and job columns. A grouped query can join to other tables to provide additional information. In this example, we want to report some aggregate data based on department, but we want to display the department name rather than the department ID, so we have to join to the departments table. This works fine, but we're losing an important piece of information. The operations department has no employees, but we don't display it because we've used an inner join. Switching to a left outer join appears to fix that problem, but it reports the wrong number of employees. Now we have a row for the operations department, the count star call has correctly returned the value 1, but this is not the correct number of employees. If instead of using count star, we reference a mandatory column in the outer join table in the count call, we get the correct result as null is not counted. We mentioned previously, having more columns referenced in the group by clause gives us more granular information. But just because we produce lots of groups, it doesn't mean we want to look at them all. Sometimes we're only interested in information from specific groups of data. The having clause allows us to filter out groups that do not meet a specific requirement. Think of it as a WHERE clause for the GROUP BY clause. In this example, we're only returning information for groups with more than one employee. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description box, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more.